This video will discuss solving quadratic equations by completing the square using algebra tiles. Welcome to my math class, Mathematics Made Easy. Click like and subscribe. Which of the following quadratic equations cannot be solved by extracting square roots or factoring? Number 1, x squared minus 10x plus 24 equal to 0 can be solved by factoring. Its factors would be quantity x minus 6 times quantity x minus 4 equal to 0. Number 2, x squared plus 8x plus 2 equal to 0 cannot be solved by extracting square roots or factoring. Number 3, x squared minus 121 equal to 0 can be solved by extracting square roots. So its roots would be x is equal to positive negative 11. Number 4 cannot be solved by extracting square roots or factoring. The same as with number 5. Let us look at the first quadratic equation which cannot be solved by extracting square root or factoring. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 2 equal to 0. We can visualize the polynomial expression x squared plus 8x plus 2 by looking at the algebra tiles below. So for x squared, we have the large blue tile and we have 8 green tiles and two yellow tiles to represent positive 2. Let us solve the first quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 2 equal to 0 using algebra tiles. But first, we have to write the equation such the constant term is on the right side of the equal sign. Our equation will become x squared plus 8x equal to negative 2. Rearranging our tiles, we have our large blue tile, which represent x squared, and we have 8 green tiles to represent 8x, and 2 red tiles to represent negative 2. Now we're supposed to make a square out of it or out of our tiles. But we have only this tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to add more tiles. So we add 10 yellow tiles to make it into a square. Now let us count the, the tiles that we have. So on the x squared part on, the, on top, we write x. And since we have 4 green tiles, we write plus 4. On the left side, we have another x and we add another 4 for the 4 green tiles. Writing the factors of our equation from the algebra tiles that we have, we have the first factor would be x plus 4 and the other factor would be x plus 4. Since we have two red tiles, so that would be equal to negative 2. And we add 16 because there are 16 unit tiles. Simplifying our factors, since they are the same, we express them as a square of a binomial. So it becomes now quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to 14, the sum of negative 2 plus 16. Equating it to 0, we have quantity x plus 4 squared minus 14 equal to 0. Therefore, x squared plus 8x plus 2 is equal to quantity x plus 4 squared minus 14. 
we can now solve the equation by extracting the square root. Let us solve x squared plus 8x plus 2 equal to 0 by completing the square without using the algebra tiles. We'll use the following steps. Step 1. Write the equation such that the constant term is on the right side of the equal sign. Our equation would become x squared plus 8x equal to negative 2. We get one half of the coefficient of x, which is 8. So one half of 8 is equal to 4. And add the square of one half of the coefficient on both sides of the equation. Our new equation would be x squared plus 8x plus 4 squared is equal to negative 2 plus 4 squared. The left side of the equation be becomes a perfect square trinomial. Express the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial and simplify the right side. So we have quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to 14. Solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to square root of 14. Where we have x plus 4 equal to positive negative square root of 14. Solve the resulting linear equation. So we have two values. We have x plus 4 equal to the square root of 14. One value of x would be x is equal to negative 4 plus positive 14. And the other one would be x plus 4 is equal to negative square root of 14. The second value of x would be x is equal to negative 4 minus the square root of 14. The second quadratic equation that cannot be solved by extracting square root or factoring is 2x squared minus 12x plus 4 equal to 0. We can visualize the polynomial expression 2x squared minus 12x plus 4 by looking at the algebra tiles below. We have two blue tiles to represent 2x squared and 12 red tiles to represent negative 12x and 4 unit tiles to represent positive 4. To solve by completing the square, the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 12x plus 4 equal to 0. If a is greater than 1 or less than 1, we need to divide the equation by the value of a so that the leading coefficient will be equal to 1. So we have here... 2x squared minus 12x plus 4 equal to 0 divided by 2. It would become x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. We can visualize the new polynomial expression x squared minus 6x plus 2 by looking at the algebra tiles below. We have one blue tile to represent x squared and six red rectangular tiles to represent negative 6x and two yellow tiles to represent positive 2. Illustrating x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0 by completing the square using algebra tiles. Write the equation such that the constant term is on the right side of the equal sign. So we will arrange the algebra tile. So we have our large blue tile to represent x squared. And we have our six rectangular tiles, three on the right side of the, of the blue tile and three below. 
and we have our two red unit tiles to represent negative 2. We are supposed to form a square, but that's only the tiles that we have. So what are we going to do? So we're going to add 7 tiles to make a square. Okay. Representing our sides of our tiles, we have X on the upper part of the blue tile and negative 3 on the upper part of the 3 red tiles on the right side of the blue tile. On the left side of the blue tile, we have X and minus 3 to represent the three red rectangular tiles below the blue tile. The factors would be quantity X minus 3 times quantity X minus 3 is equal to negative 2 plus 9. Why 9? When there are only 7 yellow tiles. The 9 represents all the unit tiles that makes up the square. Okay. Since both factors are the same, so we can express it as a square of a binomial. So quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 7. We simplified negative 2 plus 9. We can also equate this into 0. So quantity x minus 3 squared minus 7 equal to 0. Therefore, x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to quantity x minus 3 squared minus 7. We can now solve the equation by extracting the square root. We can now solve x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0 by completing the square without using algebra tiles. We will follow the steps that we have used in example number one. Write the equation such that the constant term is on the right side of the equal sign. Our new quadratic equation would be x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 2. Find one half of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of our x is negative 6, so 1 half of negative 6 is equal to negative 3. Add the square of 1 half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the equation. We add the square of negative 3, and that would be equal to 9. Express the left side of the equation as a square of a binomial and simplify. The right side. So we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to negative 2 plus 9. And squaring the left side, we have quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to 7. Solve the resulting quadratic equation by extracting the square root of both sides. So the square root of quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to the square root of 7. So that would be x minus 3 is equal to positive negative square root of 7. Solve the resulting linear equation. First linear equation is x minus 3 is equal to the square root of 7. The first value of x is equal to 3 plus square root of 7. Our second linear equation is x minus 3 is equal to negative square root of 7. The second value of our x is equal to 3 
minus the square root of 7. Try to solve 3x squared minus 18x minus 3 equal to 0 by completing the square. You can use algebra tiles or you can just follow the steps used in example number 1 and example number 2. So, I will give you time and later on, after a few minutes, I will show you the answer to this item. This is the solution for x squared minus 6x minus 1 equal to 0 by completing the square. Did you get the right answer like mine? If not, you can do it again and you can practice. You can look for quadratic equations that can be solved by completing the square on the internet. Good luck! and keep on practicing thank you for watching my math class mathematics made easy don't forget to click like and subscribe thank you and see you next video